familiar with the concept of tiny libraries, little boxes outside people's houses where people can borrow and leave books for others. But a similar one exists for food and essentials known as mini pantries filled by people around the community. As our John McMichael explains, it's not an organization, but really a movement that's gone global with a few examples right here in the Pikes Peak region. All across the country and scattered here and there in our backyard as well, you can find little outposts filled with care. I've heard some people call it like a, you know, a generosity pantry. So we have soup mix. A gift box. We have books. People can call it whatever they want. We have toothbrushes and toothpaste, but yeah, it's kind of what's in there. It's just there to, to meet a need. Officially known as Mini Pantries, it's a nationwide movement with seven spots in Colorado Springs and two in Pueblo that relies on neighbors giving what they can. So that when you are struggling or you're like, hey, I just don't have enough money for food this week, it's available. We have each other, that's all we have. If I have property and I can put this there for them and people can give and take as much as they want or as much as they need, then I'm happy to supply a location for that. And the operators we spoke to just working to be neighborly say that they see people pitching in a lot, which in turn leaves others with some maybe much needed necessities. At least half of what's in there uh, at any given time is stuff that other people who we have no idea who they are most of the time will come by and just drop stuff off. Usually it's just completely full and completely empty every day. It's really awesome how the community has embraced it. And while these pantries and this story might really fit into that holiday bracket focusing in on giving, the folks running these spots really hope people see the idea and run with it all year round. We don't want Christmas and holidays to just be the only time that we actually look for opportunities to give or that we look to be generous. It should be something that we do year round that people can rely on year round. What do you hope that the takeaway is from just a random person? That you can make one too. After all, it's just a box with the words, take what you need and leave what you can. I want my neighbors to know this is an easy project that most of the people around us can fulfill themselves. In Colorado Springs, John McMichael, News 5. And if you want to see where the mini pantries are around our area, you can check in at littlefreepantry.org. The hope, at least from what we heard from those pantry runners, was not just to help out, but also to connect with their neighbors, hoping to build a stronger community.